All right, so uh, we're going to be uh, starting the addition, to, addition soon to our renovation. And um, remember, really important that you have access to whatever you're going to be working on. Now, in our case here, we're going to be uh, cutting a section of the fence so we have adequate access when we're going back and forth. So we're going to be doing that. So it's really important that you know you do have access and have access at all times. So we're going to just go ahead and cut our access and we'll uh, get the excavator here tomorrow. Justin, could you just stand on this for a sec? Yep. One more time? Yep. So there's our access and uh, we'll get the excavator to put a ramp here and we're good to go. Okay, so we've got our uh, plans back from the city that we submitted for the addition. So as I said earlier, we're going to be putting the uh, putting the uh, addition on this spot that kind of out of the way and it's not really used for anything. So that's how we're going to create uh, extra value to the house as I mentioned before. And as you can see our excavators here. And uh, we're going to be go ahead and, and it's, it's simple on this house. We don't really have to, normally when it's a big addition or a house, you have to get the surveyor here to plot it out. But because we're going on straight off the walls, basically in line with the house, and we're going to be excavating the basement to the same footing level that the existing house is at. So we don't really need a surveyor here to uh, pin the outside excavation or to pin the underside of the footing because we already have... Uh, our basic guidelines of where we're going with the house basically in line with the house and we're cutting the basement uh, excavation the same level as the existing footing so when we dig down we'll see the footing there and uh, that's the elevation we're going to stick with uh, the only thing that we're that I'm a little bit concerned with on the house here is we're not sure when we excavate next to the back of the house here where the garage wall is sometimes you'll find that the garage wall footing is at a different elevation than the basement. So if that's the case, um, we're gonna have to maybe underpin the wall um, that's higher than the actual basement basement level that we're gonna be digging at. So we'll see what happens tomorrow because we're not sure of uh, what we're gonna get into when we dig that out. So we'll see you in the morning when we're excavating. 